Hey peeps. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing good? You is? That's good. Long time no see. The last time I saw you. Monday and it's Friday. Woo -hoo! Today is May 3rd. Friday. Let's soak all this in. May 3rd, already Friday at 1 15 in the p.m. Just got in, I just got in about maybe 10 minutes ago, y'all. I had the uh, one made of all my run and made a did you know, made a couple more runs and stuff, so yeah. And I made a white castle stop. It's water. So, y'all, what y'all been doing all week? What you been doing? Huh? What I been doing? Tuesday, I watched. I had three loads. Uh, the water didn't come up from the basement. I think it was the rain because we've been getting a lot of rain. So, I think we good on that end with the water coming up. And, um, yeah, probably to rain hard because it really rained hard. Uh, whatever day that was, we been getting a lot of rain, but uh, mostly the grass don't grew back and a lot of leaves is on the trees. People are holsters is coming back. So rain is necessary. Um, Wednesday I went out. Thursday, yesterday, I went out. Um, today, I went out. <laughs> but it was a short run today. So, I'm like, I got to get back home so I can make my video. I wasn't going to do it today. I was like, uh, but nah. I got to keep it moving. So, yeah, y'all, that's what I've been up to. Really nothing, basically. Nothing much. I, had, I did get some Amazon orders. I'm going to put everything up, though. I got some new bowls, mixing bowls. Uh, I know I got some other. I got me some more. I ordered me some more different type of studs off of Amazon. Because I, I, I wanted some bowls. These are not it, but yeah, I here got that. And what else I get? I was sharing other dress from Wish came. It's pretty. She tried it on. Came yesterday, I think it was. Or Wednesday. One of those days. Look, last time I talked to y'all was Monday. My memory is struggling to go all the way back there. So within this time, I ain't been making a video. These are the things that done transpired, okay? So yeah, let me see what else. Oh, my child number two, she getting ready to move to North Carolina. Yeah, that's going to be sad. I got another daughter out there too, child number three, she got there, but she been out there racing. She went to like, uh to the Marines. I think she was in the Marines, yeah. So she been out there ever since. It's been over 10 years. She been living out there. But child number two, she always been here. But she liked to travel and stuff. But she got a good job. Uh, um, she applied for a job. So she got a good job out that way. So she like, bye ma. <laughs> So, yeah, that's coming up this month. So, yeah. Um, what else? Guess that's about it, peeps. Nothing else really going on. So, I'm getting hot. That's what's happening right now. I'm getting hot. Mm. And my ice done. Well, I got water with no ice. But I should have got some ice because it'll still be cold by now. So, look, 
Did that read. Did that spiritual food that you ate Monday last you took today? It didn't. Because it digests fast, don't it? <laughs> Your food digests fast. Spiritual food kind of linger with you a minute. You know, but. All right, that's okay, cause I got you. I got you. We, we, I got you with another meal, two reeds. That's a whole meal, and we're gonna wash it down with some water, right? So we did a prayer power last time, and word power. So we're on another topic, same chapter, but another topic. Y'all ready for this? Um, Y'all ready for this spiritual food? Hmm. The hubby here. What you get ready to do, babe? What you get ready to do? Huh? Oh, yeah, he getting the meat together. Some barbecue tomorrow, some mild links, some hot links, and I got some Italian sausages. We got ribs, but I think we would have needed to take them out, like... I think we took them out yesterday, last night. But they probably needed to came out like, I think he put them on the water, but we just probably cooked them. He probably will barbecue them Sunday. So we'll eat ribs Sunday, eat the other stuff tomorrow. Sound like a plan, huh? So he ended up getting the meat together. So without further ado, let's do this. Yeah, my hair is still the same. I'm going to probably do it Sunday night. Normally I do my hair on Sunday, so yeah. It's coming up. It's still hanging in there though. But it's kind of like me refreshing. My hair. Oh, why did I touch my hair? I hate when hair come out, man. I'm gonna have to like. Where did it go? Like. I'm gonna go see me. Okay, yeah. Like, I'm really gonna put this in the garbage. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So, without further ado, let's do this. Here we go, peeps. Led to worship him with the Holy Spirit's help. I know I've been needing all the help I can get from the Holy Spirit. Because living this life down here is real. Or Israel. Whew. Okay. The Holy Spirit helps us to worship God. Jesus said of true worshipers, Jesus said of true worshipers that, quote, those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. The book of John, chapter 4, verse 24. That's the book we in. We in the book of John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We in the last gospel which is john we moving right along i think acts is after that so we in that book we pass what chapter we on man what chapter we is what chapter we on in the book of john you remember i don't remember either the Holy Spirit leads us into worship. He stirs it up in our hearts. He shows us how it should be done. Amen. We need guidance, people. We have the Holy Spirit when we receive Jesus. But we need the special outpouring of the Holy Spirit that gives us access to the same power Jesus had. Power, power, Lord. Need more power. Holy Ghost power. Y'all know I have to throw y'all some lyrics every now and again. After Jesus was baptized by John, we just read this, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him, he was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he now had the power of the Spirit and was led by the Spirit. Woo! The led by the Spirit is deep, y'all. That's in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 1. We too need the power and leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
God doesn't give something priceless to someone who doesn't want or appreciate it. We must want it. Wow, y'all, that was... I ain't even market, but that's why I would have stopped if I had a market. That was good. That was good, y'all. I liked that. My highlight... We too need the power and the leading of the Holy Spirit. God doesn't give something priceless to someone who doesn't want or appreciate it. We must want it. There it is right there. And that's the same way, like if you're giving somebody a gift, something that's really valuable to you, you want to give it to somebody that's going to appreciate it. Going to at least have not probably as much love for that thing as you have because you picked it out. But if you give it to them, you really want them to like, oh, I really like this. You know, grow to love it and take care of it and appreciate it. You know, when you give stuff to people that really appreciate something, and you see, and you feel that appreciation, that make you like giving gifts to that person. <laughs> you know, because they, they reaction is just priceless. But when you give stuff to people that don't appreciate stuff, you be like, I ain't giving you nothing else. Or you be hesitant about giving them something else or doing something for them. You know what I'm saying? So, same way with the Holy Spirit. And that's way much. I mean, that's just on a whole nother level of a gift giving. You know, like the Holy Spirit from God. We're talking about all the gifts that we give to people. It's just material things. You know, all of it ain't material things. Because you give people your time. You know, you know, y'all know. But we're talking about the Holy Spirit. Like... From our Heavenly Father, of course. And that's, a, like you said, it's priceless. You can't put no number on the Holy Spirit. He give it to those who want it and appreciate it. Because the Holy Spirit, man, ain't nothing like it. It comes from our Heavenly Father, you know? like, And if he's going to give you this gift, You got to treasure it. You got to appreciate it. You have to want it. All that. So, yeah. That was good. I liked it that, y'all. So, let's get ready to read our second read. I'm kind of marking stuff now. I say. Oh, this is a short one, though. It's a short topic. So... <clears throat> I'm still reading from this paper. Okay. I read Truth, My Heart Hurts. And I read Truth, My Hope is Lost. So, turn the page. The next one is Truth, My Mind is Troubled. And this is about coping with a miscarriage, biblical words of encouragement. Okay? Biblical words of encouragement. Because that's all you basically do is just try to encourage a person um, with words uh, when they don't have a loss of that sort. You know, and praying along with encourage, you know, with the words of encouragement that they would get the strength back to keep it moving, keep going on. Keep on keeping on. Okay, here we go. True, my mind is troubled. My thoughts trouble me and I am distraught. The book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 2. A troubled man can't rest in peace and quietness. Amen. It will keep you up at night and hassle you all day long. Amen. Worrying about your future isn't God's will. For your life. Repeat. Repeat. Worrying about your future. Master. 
Is it God's will for your life? That's not his will. He don't want you to worry about your future because really we don't even know, like, keeping it real. We don't even know what's going to happen really the next, next, now I won't say second. But you know, stuff can happen just like that. I mean, in the twink of another eye, things could go from good to bad and from bad to worse. You know, you could be like, I could just be sitting here reading this paper. And then soon the phone could ring, and then bam. My whole, that just changed my whole day. You know? Because it all depends on what type of news um, be on the other end of that phone. Or even in your house. You know? Kids can cut themselves cooking. <laughs> you know? You be like, oh, 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 oh. read it all. It's like, oh, mom! Ah, ah. You know? Things will just go real quick. Real quick. So, <clears throat> no need to worry about the future. You just got to get through a day. <laughs> sometimes. Some days are better than others. But sometimes, if you just having one of those days, you'll be like, dang, what time it is? Dang, it's only one o'clock. Then, before you know it, you're asking, what time it is? It's only four o'clock. I be glad when this day over with. Because you be wanting to just get it over with. <clears throat> you want to lay down and close your eyes and wake up to a brand new day. With some refreshed <clears throat> thoughts, emotions, and just rejuvenated from the night's sleep. And eventually, I mean, you could go to sleep with things on your mind, but eventually you will fall asleep. And that time that you do fall asleep, God doing what he do. <clears throat> I don't care if it was, you only get two or three or four hours of sleep. It don't take God long to work it, to rejuvenate you, to refresh you. <coughs> it's itching right there, y'all. <coughs> but I'm, I'm going to get that itch. <coughs> I got my ass over here watering. So uh, maybe I got too excited, huh? So yeah, so don't 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 be worrying about your future like that. Because even in the Bible it said, take no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow take care of itself, and which is true. You just seriously gotta get through the day. You know, come in, we constantly making decisions and choices without throughout the day. Like, it's hard. Cause some days you be like, dang. This was a long day. And some days you be like, Dad, this day went by. It all depends. So we can't go too far ahead with our thoughts when we got to be in the now. So we can be on top of whatever come our way. You know, don't get lost in the future. Stay present. You get what I'm saying? So, okay. Where I'm at, y'all? I'm somewhere. Worrying about your future isn't God's will for your life. He's in control when you aren't. You can trust him in the dark days to keep your mind when you focus on him and not your situation. And that's true. Focusing on God and how you focus on God. You got to know his words because that's how focusing on God works for me. When something is happening, when my day could go south or something just come in my day, like a stumbling block or whatever you want to call it, I have to focus. I, 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 I the flesh gonna react, but I have to pull God's word, you know, like go on my mind and pull some scriptures out to slow it down, to calm it down, to refocus and regroup within that day and say, you know what? It is what it is. It's okay. All you can do is what you can do. Everything else, you got to have faith. You got to have trust in God to know. He don't make no mistakes in whatever he do. He know what's best for you. And we really don't even know what's best for ourselves. We just be doing stuff. And whatever feel right, that is, that's it. And some things just only feel right for a minute. 
You know what I'm saying? So we really don't really know what's best for ourselves. We just living. We just doing stuff. You know? But God knows what's best for you long term. So you have to trust that. And then like if something come up in your day that just take your breath away, you be like, whew, man. But hold up. It's okay. God knew that was coming. He got that. He got the solution. I used to watch Flashpoint. They used to always say, I got the solution. <laughs> he got the solution. Even if you don't get it, he got it. But you got to believe that. That's the only way you could have, that's the only way you could calm your mind and your heart down when something really bad happened in your day. You know what I'm saying? You have to go. You have to go there. You have to believe. You have to have something to hold on to. And what's the, I mean, God is like the best way, the best outlet, your best hope. Your creator, the creator of, of you, who know you inside and out, who know the, what's best for you, you know. So, yeah, you can trust him in the dark days to keep your mind when you focus on him and not your situation. Keep your mind in peace. Keep your mind calm and don't let anxiety and things overwhelm you where you have panic attacks, where you can have a heart attack, or where you can have a stroke, or where you things happen when we go there, when we overthink things. You know what I'm saying? Just calm down, inhale and exhale, and say, you know what? Because really, what else can you do? You know, when something like just coming to your day and just like, man, what just happened? Okay? Hagar found herself out in the wilderness with her son with no water. Her thoughts were troubled and she cried in her distress. God heard her son Ishmael also crying and sent an angel. Y'all see how he just like, I hear y'all cry. I got you. I'm on it. Ugh, what? He said the angel. I mean, hey. That's the best person, or I don't know what to really call an angel, but I'm going to call an angel a person, a spiritual being. How about that? To come to your rescue? What? Mm. God heard her son Ishmael also crying and sent an angel to lead her to a well. Genesis, love the book of Genesis, y'all. Chapter 21, verse 14 through 21. If you want to know the story of Hagar. Our troubled thoughts can be refreshed through the living waters of the Holy Spirit. He will lead you to think on what is true. Mm. Not all that future thinking. Y'all know how we do. Come back. Come back and keep it real. He will lead you to think on what is true. Noble. Right. Pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. And that's from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8, y'all. Got her done. What? Man, I'm on the roll. I'm on the roll. I come back. I come back strong. Ugh. Ain't nothing in the water. It's just me. I love my life. Well, I thought, you know, after you done been through what you done been through and you went through your wilderness, you really learned to love your life. The good, the bad, and the ugly is your life. You know? And then you learn to love all that. You love you loving you. That when you accept all that. You accept who you is and you'll learn to love you for all of that back there. You know, nothing to be ashamed of. It is what it is. And can't no don't let nobody make you feel ashamed of that stuff back there. Cause it's back there. You know? Cause everybody got stuff that's back there. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't gotta call everything out. 
But uh, I don't accept it all my stuff that's back there. You accept all your stuff that's back there. You ain't got to focus on my stuff that's back there. I know what's back there. I was there. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. But let's live in the present. Not the past and not the future. Because we can't do nothing about the past. Because that is what it is. And you can't definitely do nothing about the future because you have no control over that. You don't even know what your day going to bring, let alone a year or two. Sure, even if you be here within a year or two. Keeping it real, right? I mean, that's, that's real life and real talk. So, yeah, stay in your day. Deal with your days. And be on so you can make wise decisions and good decisions and don't let it catch you off guard catch you like you know like slipping sleeping that type of situation you know so you can be fully aware of what's going on in your day and respond to it in the moment okay so <clears throat> them some good reads right got her done oh y'all i'm getting there I'm almost there. This is a good read. I really like this read. So, I guess that's about it. Let me get ready to edit and do what I do and put it up on YouTube and let it do what it do, right? And uh, I've been I've been on kitchen duty this week, so maybe the hubby uh wash dishes for me and everything today. But anyway, whew, I hope everybody <laughs> have a blessed Friday, a safe Friday, and a productive Friday. Cure the done. Have a protective Friday slash weekend. Enjoy your weekend, people. Yeah, our weather ain't been right, but it's been okay. I'm not here to complain because it ain't like no 55 below zeros and stuff. And it ain't raining. I don't really care about the rain like that. I really don't. But it's decent. We've been having 50s and 60s. But the sun is shining. So take what I can get and everything. So enjoy your weekend. Y'all seen the Avengers the Endgame yet? Yeah, I'm just saying. <coughs> I'm just saying. Through a marathon of all the uh, Avengers, get to know the people. Get to know the characters. So when you watch, don't just, if you ain't seen all the rest of them, don't just go see no event. Look, don't, mm -mm, we gonna put some respect <laughs> on the visions of NK. If you ain't seen all the other ones, don't do it. Don't just go see that just to see it. You're gonna be lost. And you ain't gonna like, you're not gonna get that full feel. It's like, like reading this book. I read the beginning and the end. You miss all the middle part. Or some people just get in the end and miss all in the you know. So yeah. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> and on that note, and on that note, I'm out. Peace. Love, share some and what? I holla. See you Monday back at the table with some more reads, some more goodness, some more food. You name it. I got it. y'all. My soul was sinking in a world of sin, but grace and mercy entered me in. Took my feet out of the miry clay and placed them on, on a rock to stay. Oh, what a